It's become a weekly affair. These Jordanians are protesting in central Amman against economic reforms proposed by their government. Among them is Moeen Al Sharaf, a pharmacist who's been attending the rallies for months. Back at his home, he says the protesters come from all parts of Jordanian society. The people have made big demands about the formation of a parliamentary government with a real parliament that represents the Jordanian people. And from this representative parliament, only then a government that truly represents the people can be formed. Without these kinds of changes, we'll always return to square one in terms of our demands. Last summer, thousands of Jordanians took to the streets over legislation that would have raised income taxes and implemented tough IMF-backed austerity measures. It led to the resignation of Prime Minister Hani Mulki, and the bill was eventually scrapped. Protests broke out again in December after the government of new Prime Minister Omar al-Razaz approved a new tax bill. It's widely seen as similar to the previous one. Protesters say they can't pay higher taxes because prices are rising and unemployment is high. They want a government that addresses these concerns. Jawad Anani is chairman of the Amman Stock Exchange and former deputy prime minister for economic affairs. He says the government is trying to find a compromise with its creditors, the IMF and World Bank. Jordan cannot continue with the same policies and expect different results. You know, in a way, we need a paradigm shift. Uh, towards more growth-oriented policies, more people-friendly policies, uh, because Jordanians are exhausted with too many taxes. They cannot take it anymore. The IMF sees Jordan's adoption of the income tax legislation as a step toward getting its economic house in order. Jordan has a public debt of around $40 billion. That's as high as the country's GDP and also high enough for these Jordanians to go back on the streets. Periodic protests like the one behind me seems inevitable given Jordan's current political and economic challenges. The size of the protests have shrunk over the past months, but many here say they'll continue until their demands are met. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World, Amman, Jordan.